Hey, people of God, Chamie and Sutton here, Associate Pastor at Victorious Life Christian Center. Um, excited about the opportunity to be able to come before you today and give you a message of encouragement and hope. Um, as I was thinking about what to share with you, uh, the thoughts of everything that's going on in society right now came to mind. And I wanted to tell you that perspective is everything. Do you see the glass half full or is it half empty? Is your glass filled with dirty water or is your water clean? Because that's going to affect what you are able to see. You know, during times like these where there is a lot of social unrest, um, perspective is so important. And, and there's a few things that I want you to ask yourself. Number one, what are you allowing to come into your life? What is your input? Are you following every minute of the news? Are you reading every article? Are you allowing things to be poured into you that are increasing fear? Secondly, I want to ask you is, what does your association look like? Are you talking to people on the telephone who are talking about every single update of fear and death tolls and all of the negative things about what's going on right now, allowing more fear, fear to settle in you. Um, sometimes we have to ask ourselves during different periods of our life, who do we need to do, disassociate ourselves from at certain times? And then lastly, what is your environment? Are you environments, uh, are you in environments around uh, people that are seeing the glass half full? Are you around the saints of God? Are you uh, making time to pray with the saints of God? Are you getting out and about and going to parks and letting joy, the joy of the Lord, uh, be seen in your life? Are you being the, the salt of the earth? Um, and all of that leads me to uh, a, a little topic that I'd like to share with you called invisible cages. Invisible cages. Um, when we are allowing fear to settle into our life, we have to understand that fear tends to put up barriers around you that aren't real. And the difference between um, a fence, right? Because there's, there's fences that can be put around us. Fences are barriers, but there's also cages. And the difference between a fence and a cage is this. A fence, you can climb over. But a cage... You can only be let out of a cage one or two ways. Either you can be let out or you have to bust out. And I think that this is a time in our society right now where if you have allowed fear to cage you, this is your opportunity to bust out. Because the enemy that we face is real and he wants to cage you in and throw away the key. And he wants to uh, cage your mind so well that a time will come where the cage is removed, but you're still boxed in because you believe, oh man, I know they say the coronavirus is over, but I don't know if I can shake people's hands anymore. I mean, the, the enemy wants us to not interact with each other. The Bible says that um, as, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. And if we deny ourselves from being around each other when the time comes, then we're going to limit ourselves from becoming our best self. You cannot accomplish anything great by yourself. The number one is not a, a great enough number for success. So we need each other. And the greatest thing that we can do right now is pray. Stay vertical. Pray to our Heavenly Father. Have an attitude of gratitude. Be thankful for everything you do have right now. And pray for the other saints, but pray for our country. Pray for our world. Pray for our president. Pray for our leaders that they would make the right decision. Pray for the doctors who are making the decisions on vaccines and, and things uh, going on in the world so we can have a cure for this and never have to deal with it again. But I think what God wants us to understand is as we overcome this, we will face other things. And will you have your faith in the right place? Will you be free from invisible cages? 
So saints, be excited today, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We know that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. The righteous are as bold as a lion. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous can run to it and be safe. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. So be encouraged today and know that your best days are still ahead of you. In Jesus' name, amen.